Now, here's a real popular question. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself here. I'm David Summerfleck. I'm the proud, very proud owner of Sudden Impact Web Design, SuddenImpactWebDesign.com. We're a custom WordPress web design, SEO, e-commerce, uh, internet marketing, and training provider here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. And right now it's a very cold Denver, Colorado. Uh, but anyway, from time to time I like to go to Quora.com and kind of cover some of the questions that I've answered so that they can get some play visually as well. And yeah, we don't have big special effects like uh, the new Star Wars movie or anything. It's just a guy reading questions. But some of my YouTube subscribers out there and some of the people out there in video land on the internet uh, might benefit from some of these questions. So I thought I'd share a few with you. This is something that uh, if you're a web developer, you hear this ad nauseum and literally ad nauseum. Every day you hear this until your eyes roll up into your head. Everybody and their brother wants to get what they can for free. And it's not necessarily wrong to try to save money, but it's kind of like if I wanted to have an office space and I wanted to have an office environment and do it for free or save money. So I could uh, get one of these co-working facilities where uh, you know the, the the location looks like uh, a garage or something um, you know or I could uh, go to an office complex and just wait till there's nobody around and then try to schedule meetings and say this is my office it's kind of the same thing with web design if you want to go ahead to one of these what they call here in the question easy website builder I call it freebie template generators really it's the same thing and it's certainly your prerogative to try to get what you want to for free uh, but you have to keep in mind you're getting something for nothing why would I give you free food right I mean come on uh, why would I give you a free template or a theme for website development maybe because it has spyware maybe because I'm testing and I'm not really sure how good it is so I'll give it to you and let you see uh, you're testing something out there's ulterior motives so you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt all of these companies that give you the free websites they do so obviously for a reason will give you something really really basic really really easy you know something that's someone who you know has no desire whatsoever to learn anything about web design or marketing or something with some, someone who is just no interest whatsoever um, you know could get something up and running in five minutes and they'll be really excited but obviously there is a downside for anything that you get for free so I'm going to read my question uh, I'll read the answer rather and then I'm going to back off and we'll end the video and let you, the viewer, see what I have to say. Okay. The pros and cons for the website template builder things out there, such as Wix, Weebly, Vista Print, which is not really technically free, Website Tonight, Squarespace, or whatever it's called. And again, this is my opinion. So, you know. It's an informed opinion, though. I've been building websites and studying programming and marketing since at least 1998. I've had and run two of my own businesses. Um, I'm also a business counselor for SCORE, SCORE.org, which is a partner for the Small Business Administration. So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. So it's my opinion, but it's an informed opinion. So let me get back and just read the answer here. The pros and cons for the website template builder thingies, such as Wix, Weebly, Vista Print, Website Tonight, Square, pay, uh, Square Space, and the rest of this endless army of the night, is that you're basically you're not getting a custom designed theme or holistic whole. So therefore, the SEO, which is search engine optimization. What's SEO? What is search engine optimization? 
can people find your site in Google searches? For the vast majority of businesses out there, the answer is no. So social media marketing, help with setting your site up, talking to you about SEO, making sure that you're getting the best deal for your business, that's not there. And it's there will be other countless other sites that are going to look exactly the same because you're using a recycled template or theme. Now, while this may not matter to most people, uh, many consumers will judge a business by its website. And statistics have shown that the public is getting more and more savvy about this now. Everybody and their brother and their sister has a smartphone or an iPhone. And if you don't have one out there listening, you're one of the very few people out there who do not have one. So the public, they all have these smartphones. And yet the vast majority of businesses, they don't have websites. And they don't have websites that work on them. What, why is this disconnect so profound? Um, and then if they do have a website, it doesn't work on mobile devices, and you'll never find them in Google searches, no matter what you type in. So most smart consumers out there, if they can't find your business online, they're not going to search for it all day long. If they go and they do find your website and it looks tacky or it looks like other ones that they've seen before, um, or if the content is not written on a professional level, or if things don't work on it, such as images or the e-commerce, or just simply the site doesn't work, they're not going to mess around with it all day long. They're going to go on to another business that will work, that can service them correctly. And if you're selling products online, why would they go to your store or your, your website if it doesn't work correctly when they can just go to Amazon or just use Google Shopping. So this is something to consider and take seriously or just don't have a business. Many of the templates that are, are, are themes are generic. They look generic. Thousands of other business owners around the world have them. They may or may not work on mobile devices. They certainly are not going to have your custom SEO. And if you're not a developer or a programmer yourself, you're not going to know what your SEO terminology should be. Um, and again, with all of these programs, if you want to add more things, these are going to all cost additional fees to get rid of the advertisements, to add any customizability, to update to make changes and in many of them you can't make changes um, and again you can't change the appearance once you've got it but most importantly an automated uh, template builder program whatever no matter how appealing free or cheap is these automated template programs don't care whether your business succeeds or flops they don't care whether your family eats at night or they don't eat at night, okay? They have no personal interest in seeing your business succeed or, or go belly up. It's an automated freebie program that gives you something for nothing and then covers it with ads and puts it on the internet. They're, they're single one-shot commodities in my opinion. So if you have a serious business and you care about it, the thing to do is just stop looking at websites as single one-shot commodities like buying in a box of business cards or buying a box of brochures or something or car magnets. Look at a website as a functioning machine, which is really what it is. It's a 24-7, 365 day a week marketing division of your company. If you have a website and it's not making you money, if you're not getting more leads and referrals, more customers on a daily basis, then you're not using it. It's not set up properly. If people can't find your business online through Google searches or through social media connections, then what purpose does it serve? It does nothing. You basically have a business card online. Big deal. So 
you really want to look at these business websites as I want it to save me money instead of answering the phone all the time and telling people how to get to my business. That needs to be on your site. Instead of answering the same questions over and over and over again, your website should have an FAQ section or what they call a knowledge base section. Okay, um, It should have directions. It should have a map. If you sell physical items, if you're a restaurant, you have a magic sauce. If you have items, anybody has items. You should be selling them online, making more money. If you're a service provider, there is no reason in the world why you can't be charging online for your services. You could be scheduling and booking appointments in advance and charging people for them. You know, if you're a barber, how many barber shops have websites? Hardly any. Uh, and most of them, they don't care. And yet, if I go to Google and I type in Denver Barbershop, I can't find any of them online because they don't advertise and they don't care. What if I'd like to schedule an appointment in advance uh, so I can get my beard trimmed if I want to? If I want to schedule that in advance, I can't. If I want to schedule it in advance and pay for it in advance, I can't do that. I just don't have that luxury available to me. And yet, women have salons all across the Denver area. And most of the salons, they don't have websites, they don't have SEO, and they're not interested. And so they're losing money on a daily basis. So my point is, you can be found in Google searches. You can be found in interconnecting social media channels. You can be offering coupons. You can be booking appointments. You can be scheduling reservations. You could be renting out uh, uh, rooms that you have available for special events. OK, um, every restaurant in America could be having cooking classes. You could be renting out rooms for events or conferences or putting it up on meetup.com for uh, business networking groups. And yet most don't do it. They just don't think of these things. And it's not that they're bad people or anything like that. Just that they're overwhelmed trying to run their own business. And it doesn't occur to them that there could be ways that websites could actually be saving you money while making you money and operate is a component of your business instead of just this thing that, oh, I got a website now, I'm done. whoop de doo So I want to encourage people to really break out of this mindset of websites being these static one-shot commodity deals like a PowerPoint presentation online or a business card online. It should be making you money. It should be getting your phone ringing. You should be getting emails every day. And if you don't know how to do these things or if you just don't think it's possible, then you go to SuddenImpactWebDesign.com and you fill out my form and you send me an email. And you come up with what is a realistic budget? 10% of your gross annual uh, income is a realistic budget for a real business. Um, if you're a struggling business, then maybe you don't do 10%, maybe you do 5%, but you set aside a percentage of your annual revenue and you put that into your marketing budget so you can build on that. There's an old saying that sometimes to make money, you have to spend money. Nobody goes to a job interview wearing the worst outfit that you have. You dress nicely. You try to comport yourself appropriately to look good for an interview. You purchase business cards. If you have some brains, you go and you get the business cards that, that feel nice, that are thick, that are glossy. If you don't have any smarts, then you go and you get the business cards that have the company name on the back of it and with the perforated edges around it. And you don't get a lot of phone calls. So sometimes you have to spend a little bit to make a little bit, you know, and, um, you know, everybody out there, you know, if you get the, 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 the 89 cent pizzas at the grocery store, they don't taste as good as the ones that are eight ninety nine, do they? No, they don't. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. Okay. Cause I've eaten them many times myself, but you also get the point. Sometimes you got to spend a little bit to make a little bit. So anyway, I've really, really answered this question a thousand times over, and I also want to really communicate the point of seeing web design as more than just a static one-shot deal, but as basically investing in the future of your company. And if you talk to a web developer who doesn't see this, 
or does it take an interest in what is your SEO? You know, if we can't make you number one in Google search results locally, we should at least be asking you about that and care and take an interest in it. The developer should want to connect you to all the social media outlets possible and really want to say to you, how can we use this to save your company overhead, to reduce overhead and unnecessary expenditures? How can we consolidate your business into this so it's a component of your business and save you a little bit of overhead while we're trying to make you money too? And there should be a strategy to do that. And if the web developer, quote unquote developer, can't see that, they don't have ideas for you, then you give me a call, okay? I'll help you. But anyway, enough of me, enough of this question. Have a good night, everybody. Adios.